Yo, what's going on guys? It's Sen Smith and I'm back with a video and this video is be super special. You made a video on the newest Buffalo Bill, Kair Elam. So this whole week I was super excited for the NFL draft. My birthday was on Wednesday and you know, the day after the NFL draft, it's like a, it's like a nice birthday gift. It's like a cherry on top for my birthday. Kair Elam to the Buffalo Bills with pick number 23. And look at this guy's card, he's absolutely stacked. Look at his stats, he's 99 speed, 99 excel, 98 agility, 92 jump, 94 play rack, 95 main, 97 zone, 97 press. And he's 6'2", 196. He's going to be an absolute monster for us. I mean, I mean, look, 96 change of direction, just insane. Yeah, this dude, 70 attack was not terrible. I mean, yeah. This dude's card is going to be very, very good. Um... Now, it's not 99, which is annoying, and they don't get power up, so it's going to be kind of tough, um, just because he doesn't get 99 overall, but I mean, that's just being nitpicky, and then we could uh, go over here, well, honestly, we can make him, alright, so we did actually end up putting uh, Kair Elam at kick and punt returner, and, you know, I'm super excited about this pick, um, I, it was either between him or Andrew Booth Jr., for me, in my opinion, um, and, I mean, Kair Elam, definitely not mad about it, honestly, uh, Andrew Booth was a little bit higher on my, um, like, wanting for cornerback. But, uh, you know, I'm not mad at Kyrie Elam at all. And, uh, you know, his cards are amazing and uh, mad, so can't go wrong. And, um, the second and third rounds are tonight. So let me know who you guys think the Bills are going to select. You guys think your team is going to select. I personally think that the Bills go with a receiver and a running back. Um, I can see maybe, like, a, like, maybe, like, an Alex Pierce, Sky Moore, or, um, Calvin Austin. The second round, and then honestly, in the third round, I guess maybe, you know, like a James Cook kind of player. Because that would be, that would just be electric if we get uh, a receiver and a running back. Because, I mean, it would just, I mean, it would just make the offense so much better. And the defense are so much better with Kyrie Elam. But anyway, we're in a game. Uh, my opponent has Josh on Chad Johnson, uh, Sean Springs. So it should be a pretty fun game. Kyrie Elam, first touches on the Bills team team. As I guys, and as I did say before, was my birthday on Wednesday. And one of my birthday gifts, Von Miller jersey. Um, as you guys see right here, number 40. You guys probably see on the sleeves too, right here. Pretty sick, super excited for Von Miller season. And man, I'm so excited. I have a few ideas for the channel, which as you guys know, I haven't really been that consistent lately. And you know, I think it's just an issue with um never having any ideas for the channel because you know nothing's really just come to me yet. So uh, you know, we're gonna figure it out, and I think that I have a good idea for the channel finally. But man, that was a lot of talking to start a video. So, you know, we're just going to get right into the game right here. First and 10 for my opponent from the 12 yard line. It looks like he has Jags. It doesn't look like he has a theme team at all. Um, And there we go. Uh, first play, tackle on Derrick Henry. All right, third and eight. Let's see what my opponent does right here. All right, Kyrie Elam is going to be on the right side right here. And uh, that, that's unfortunate. So, what we're going to do actually is we're going to uh, just play man coverage. As you guys see, Kyrie Elam is on the right side of DK Metcalf. Hopefully get a pick with him this game. Um and let's see. Okay. Kyrie Elam got Oh, he got burnt. But Kyrie Elam, he's gonna he's gonna catch out. Good breakup. That's a good breakup. You know, he got he kinda got torched. But he did get the breakup, so I'm happy with it. I right, also must mention that uh DK has I'm pretty sure he has a route tech for him. So uh Kyrie Elam's just gonna get burnt naturally because you know I don't have any like man stopping um like abilities on him, so it's just, it's just gonna be tough either way, but uh, right here, we're gonna man up. Uh, I didn't get the adjustments off that one did. But that's gonna be a pick with Durin James. That's beautiful. Are right, we at the ball in the 41 yard line? This is light work. But yeah, another thing, you know, <laughs> with the NFL draft, I mean, I've just been all in on the NFL and he gets sacked for play. But I've just been all in on the NFL for the past few days. And honestly, who do you guys uh, think won the first round of the NFL draft? Personally, I think the Jets won the draft in the first round, um, you know, getting Garrett Wilson, Sauce Gardner, and Jermaine Johnson is not easy, but you know, somehow they pulled it off, and the Jets are probably good for years to come, to be honest, and I mean, I think the Patriots are officially dead, they're definitely the worst team in the division, in my opinion, but um, yeah, so Jets had a great draft, um, but I gotta, I gotta focus up on this game right here. All right, so fourth and 14, you guys see right here, we're gonna have a corner with Trayvon Diggs, and a cross with uh, Bobby Woods, and nothing's open. Actually, we might have Trayvon right there. Yeah, that's a beautiful pass from Josh Allen. And Josh Allen's been very good for me. I've played a few games um, 
off video with Josh Allen, and he's he's, he's probably the best uh, quarterback in this game. I'm just gonna call a random play right here. Uh, we're gonna trade on Diggs. That's actually low key though. That's kind of like one of the best plays from like that, like kind of range in the uh, red zone. Because it has so many like weird routes that you know something just gets open eventually. And I trade on Diggs right, just got wide open, and we get a touch on Josh Allen on this QB sneak. And yeah, I told you guys this this game is a light work. Gonna be taking a seven to nothing lead here over my opponent. Um, I mean this guy's not very good, so I mean I would get another game in, but I do have something to do after this uh, gameplay. So uh, maybe if this guy quits, we get another game in, but I, I can't promise you guys anything. First and ten points, probably gonna go to the pass right here. Yeah, he will. It's the same play actually from before. And yeah, I I left that crosser wide open. Yeah, that's my fault. Now it's always super hard making these gameplays on defensive players because. I mean, you can't really, like, call a play for them, so... Now, I'm, I'm trying my best out here, but, uh, it's, it's pretty difficult. I obviously want Kyrie Elam to get his chance to, you know, get to jump ball or something, but... Can't really just make my opponent throw it to him. And, yeah, that's Pat Fryer with... Alright, I might move Kyrie Elam into the slot and just have him, like, man up someone. Alright, first and ten for my opponent, and, uh... I had to leave for a second, but that's Kyrie Elam on the tackle. Um, yeah, I had to do something really, really quick, so, uh... I don't know what happened so that he got to 47, but he's here. All right, we're gonna play some man defense on this nickel normal. Um, second and 10, he should be pretty good. I do love running some nickel normal, to be honest, because if you get a lot of block sheds out of this, and uh, yeah, nothing's open. Yeah, that's actually very, very good defense. It's a bad pass. Pick with Trey White, 10. Let's see who gets open right here. We're gonna chuck that to Bobby Woods, and that's actually a pretty good pass. All the way to 15, now that's too easy. Oh, Trayvon, this is not double move. Man, Jimmy Graham is actually just OP. I mean, he's, he's the best user in the game. Our running press man right now. I'm actually kind of down bad for this. Running press man and uh, Kyrie Elam. This is probably his best chance because he's a press man corner. And that's past me. Picked all by Trey White. Second pick of the game for Trey White. I mean, Trey White's actually just a demon in this game. Right, so this is probably we're running right here. Uh, hopefully, Trayvon or Stefan could get open. I'm just going to try to the Trayvon. And, man, these guys have to start losing Tyreek Hill. All right, third and 22. Gonna look for Bobby Woods or Stefan Diggs right here. And Bobby Woods should be open. And that's, that's a beautiful pass from Josh Allen to Bobby Woods. It's a touch. We're gonna take a 14 to nothing lead uh, near the end of the first half. But, you know, the, the end goal has to be get Kyrie Elam in the interception. All right, first and 10. Looking for the bomb right here to Stefan Diggs. And, yeah, this, this is gonna be open. His user's nowhere near the play. That's a bomb to Stefan Diggs. And Julio Jones has deep out uh, zone KO, so it's incomplete. All right, second and 10. I want to gun Trey right here. You guys know this play. Um, Yeah, that's me. Wide open Stefan Diggs. Beautiful pet. All right, I'm going back to the bomb. Honestly, I know it's incomplete the first time, but I think it's at the possession catch with Stefan Diggs. I mean, it should be good. Or we that underneath throughout to Bobby Woods. That's just wide open. And yeah, we're just gonna run past everyone. And we're gonna get down to the 32 yard line. See what gets open right here. Nothing's gonna get open. We're gonna, we're gonna try to run Josh Allen. And somehow you get caught up on the defensive tackle, Sheldon Richardson. I mean, that's just wild. But uh, right here, second 10 or second 12, going right back to the pass. Um, Looking for Trayvon Dixon in the seam. And yeah, it's a beautiful passing catch. All right, down to 13. Now, now I feel better. I right, motion him out a little bit. You know, get, get on like a delay kind of. And uh, I should not have done that at all. Okay, that's me picking the end zone. And we don't end up scoring. The game, I can't get to the 20. Honestly, we, just one more stop in this game. So, I'm not that mad. Alright, first and 10. Going to the press man coverage. Um, and that just, that's just not open. Okay, I mean, we're just getting bad animations. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to slow this game down. Take some clock over time with the clock and, you know this game because i'm gonna cheat this game seven gotta get a first down throw that to trayvon diggs and dk metcalf is superman bro all right third and 13 again putting up contains so that uh josh can get out can't get out of the pocket and look at that that's the stack with von Millie. the man's jersey that i'm wearing it's beautiful fourth and 18 my opponent's got a big decision right here all right fourth and 18 you're gonna have to use her on the left side um hopefully your elam gets a pick though that'd be pretty sick um, we're actually gonna put uh, I was going to put Cam Chance on like a purple, but that doesn't work. That's a pick with Duran James. It's beautiful. Uh, I'm, I'm not even celebrating yet because uh, you know how this game has been so far. But there's 3 minutes 52 seconds left in this game. 
I'm just gonna try to run the clock out. Um, but yeah. Oh wow. You know, I, I'm kind of washed. I'm not gonna lie to you. I need to. I need to just refocus. I don't know why I just what I just threw. All right, third and five. Let's see right here. Uh, nothing's open, and I mean. I mean, his Josh Allen's making all these throws. We're back in the zone defense right here. Back to what we're known for. And that's going to be a pick with Trayvon or with Stefan Diggs. First play. I mean, yeah. I mean, the zone is just where it's at. I mean, it's so much better than man coverage. And, you know, we, we got to put Kyrie Elam in the slot. Now, Brandon Bean has said in real life already that Kyrie Elam will not be playing in the slot. He will only be a boundary corner. So, um, it's kind of unrealistic that you have Kyrie Elam playing in the slot for whenever we get back on defense. But, uh. I don't really care to be honest. We're, we're looking for the bottom one first and ten, and uh, yeah, it should be open. Yeah, that, that's just that's wide open. He can't get a uh, KO breakout or breakout right there. That's a beautiful throw. It's be twenty-one to nine. Every extra point. And so I haven't been as energetic in the second half. Just that, I mean, this game it just makes you so like tired after you're playing for just like one game. Right, we got Kyir Elam in the slot now. Um, let's see what he does right here. First and ten. And uh, he's going to go for a bomb, too. And that, that's just not open. That's Stefan Diggs on that pick. That's a beautiful animation. Um, honestly, I don't want him to quit. So I'm going to punt it back. But, uh, yeah. Uh, run it back. Let's go. All right, my point is six interceptions. And this was just a crazy game. I mean, th there's just no excuse for it. If my point throws six interceptions, it should not be a close game. And whether that's my fault or Madden's fault, it doesn't matter. It shouldn't be a close game. And we're pulling, he's actually putting together a pretty nice run. All right, first and 10. We put Kyrie Elam over top now. And uh, yeah, nothing's open. And that's me a sack with Bruce Smith. That's absolutely beautiful. All right, third and 21. Nothing should be open other than the outside. Okay. And yeah, that actually might be a touchdown. I mean, that's just tragic. That That's just tragic. So am I got a little too ahead of myself? We punted him the ball back earlier because now we, we need to, you know, put together a few nice plays here in order to win this game. But uh, we should be fine. And so we're just going to go back to this uh, bomb on this play. I mean, he has no way of stopping it because he can't guard the underneath route. So, uh, yeah, this is this going to be the play. And, uh, yeah, I mean, what we're probably going to do is so I'm probably going to punt it back. So he has, like, a few seconds left. Uh, we're just going to run a random play right here. And, uh, yeah, okay. We should still have, honestly... That, that wasn't open enough to where I wanted to throw, but Josh had a nice spin. And uh yeah, he's gonna get all the way down right here to the 28. And uh honestly, I'm gonna I'm gonna punt it. Cause I wanted to try to get a, a pick with Kyir Elam, but you know, it's gonna be kinda risky being this close when I sky kick it and like hope hope that somehow this is still in bounds. And uh it will be. It actually will be, but it's oh it's just in the end zone. That that hurts, that hurts. All right, so he's not in Hail Mary. I know it looks like it, but he's not. And it's going for a handoff. And Derrick Henry handoff. All right, five seconds left. We got this. All right, so right here on first and 10. Uh, we're, we're gonna use, uh, I was going to try to use it with Kyrie Elam. But uh, he's got, just going to have to chuck this. And Elam, let's get a pick. And we don't get a pick. All right, that's kind of unfortunate. Six picks, none of them with Kyrie Elam. But it's whatever. Honestly, defensive masterclass right there. That's a beautiful gameplay. Welcome to the Bills, Kyrie Elam. But that's me for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.